Hello and welcome back. Today is the final video of our series of Data Lakehouse. Till today, we have loaded the data in our Lakehouse with various scripts that we have used to load landing, staging, and EDW. Today, we will write analytical queries on AWS Athena and we will create the remaining tables that are required in Athena to query and make our reports. But before we can begin, if you have not watched the previous video of Simlink Manifest Configuration with Athena, I recommend you to go back and watch the 11th video of this series. I am in my JupyterLab environment. The only missing piece till now is the plan type dimension, which is actually a static dimension. I have created one notebook which will help us to load the static data in plan type dimension. Since plan type is static, there is no change in data, we can directly load the data in the dimension layer. As you can see on my screen, we have already created the script. All the steps in this script are similar to the dimension load. The only thing is we are going to use this static data, create a data frame and write this data frame in overwrite mode in the final dimension table. We will generate the Simlink manifest file as we used to do for other dimensions. I have created one more notebook which will help us to generate the DDL that is required for our Athena. If you can see on my screen, I have created three codes that will generate the DDL for landing, staging and the final layer. Once you run all these three sales, all the DDLs are generated properly. This is the DDL for customer dimension. Similarly, this is the DDL for the date dimension. We can easily copy the DDL and paste it in Athena and run to generate our tables. I am in Athena query editor. I have already generated the tables using the DDL that we generated using the IPython notebook that we discussed just now. As you can see on the left side of my screen, I have already created the dimension and fact tables from the DDL. Now we can write our analytical queries to generate our reports. To make things simpler, I have already written some of the analytical queries that we will see in order to generate few of the reports that are required. The first one we see on the screen is to generate the total sales as per the store. In this query, we use the store name and the sum of line total from fact. The dimension and the fact is joined based on the left outer. We have used the surrogate keys to join the dimension and the fact and group by on the store name and ordered on this total sum. Let's run this analytical query. Our query execution is complete. As you can see on the screen, Pethouse GZ has the highest total sales. Let's run another analytical query which will give us the product name of the top selling product. As usual, we have taken product name and the sum of line total. We have joined product with fact sales based on left outer join. And we have used the surrogate key for the joining condition. Let's run this analytical query. We have product candy grain free pure which has the highest total sales. Let's take one more example to find out the plan name which has the total sale. Since dimension plan type is not directly connected with fact sales, it is connected with customer and the customer is connected with fact sales. You can see we have connected plan type with customer based on the plan type code and we have connected customer with fact sales based on the surrogate key. Let's run this analytical query. Okay, we can see the gold plan name has the highest sales, but we can also find out many of the customer has not applied for any of the plan. So we have not applicable as the second highest one. And we also have silver as a plan where none of the customer has subscribed for this plan. As we come to the conclusion of this course, thank you for being such an audience. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I would recommend you to please subscribe the channel. This would help us to create more content like this. Keep learning, keep growing, Keep sharing.